Good morning, and welcome to another segment of the Worth Report for August 16th. Keep America vigilant to 24. Here we go. The corrupt World Health Organization declares a new public health emergency of international concern just months before the 2024 election. A new photo shows Trump's would-be assassin at the rally casually walking around a building with the rifle, yet nobody stopped him. And the best hackers in America break into voting machines that will be used in this year's election. But no fixes will likely be implemented until the next election cycle. Go figure. First, to Rep. Anna Paulina Luna, who shared a photo she received from someone at Trump's Pennsylvania rally online, as shown on your screen, showing shooter crooks casually walking around a building with the rifle he used to shoot Trump. Yet nobody did anything. How did they miss this? Well, the short answer is, they didn't. Lots of people looked the other way to make this assassination attempt possible, which makes it quite obvious that this was an inside job carefully coordinated by our folks running the deep state in this country. We knew they wanted him dead. We told you before that Trump is at a point where he is so popular that they would almost have to kill him to beat him. We reported this to you months ago. Nothing they've done against him has worked. It's only made him more popular, and it's because of the hand of God being upon him. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. Next, to the corrupt and ridiculous World Health Organization, which nobody takes seriously anymore. The WHO, also known as China's puppet, has declared monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern just months before the 2024 election. The highly esteemed Dr. Peter McCullough previously stated that, quote, monkeypox does not pose a risk to the average American. Do you know what this does, folks? It ushers in a foundation for new emergency declarations by world leaders, governors, etc., as they did in 2020. Why would they want that? Because declaring such an emergency gives the president, governors, etc., unprecedented power, which they used in 2020 to circumvent the state legislatures and change election laws before the election, which was used to facilitate the fraud mail-in ballots, observers six feet apart, and all the rest. But what will they do this time? The same thing? Maybe with a new twist. Now to a major story for today. America's best hackers have now broken into voting machines that will be used in this year's election. And we have the details. Want to keep watching? YouTube continues to ban our channel and remove our truthful reporting, previously labeling our content as, quote, harmful to the public. Support us and sign up for full segments at thewordreport.com where we can say exactly what we want without the censorship or suppression. Only $6.99 a month or $49.99 a year. We've also just announced a new lifetime subscription plan for just $99.99, which will be available for a very limited time. That's right, a one-time payment of $99.99 gets you a subscription to The Worth Report for life. But hurry, because this option won't be available for long. Sign up at theworfreport.com slash lifetime. You can also make a one-time donation by clicking the new donate button at the top right corner of theworfreport.com to donate any amount you like and support us even more. We truly can't do this without you, so please support us today. Go to theworfreport.com to sign up or donate. God bless you all. God bless President Trump and God bless America.